The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Zephaniah. Seek Yahweh, all you humble of the earth, who obey his commands. Seek uprightness, seek humility. You may perhaps, but in you, I shall leave surviving a humble and lowly people. And those who are left in Israel will take refuge in the name of Yahweh. They will do no wrong, will tell no lies, nor will a deceitful tongue be found in their mouths. But they will be able to graze and rest with no one to alarm them. And our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 146. Lord, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, he keeps faith forever gives justice to the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. Yahweh sets prisoners free. Yahweh gives sight to the blind, lifts up those who are bowed down. Yahweh protects the stranger. He sustains the orphan and the widow. Yahweh loves the upright, but he frustrates the wicked. Yahweh reigns forever, your God, Zion, from age to age. And our second reading is taken from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Consider, brothers, how you were called. Not many of you are wise by human standards, not many influential, not many from noble families. No, God chose those who by human standards are fools to shame the wise. He chose those who by human standards are weak to shame the strong. Those who by human standards are common and contemptible. Indeed, those who count for nothing to reduce to nothing all those that do count for something. So that no human being might feel boastful before God. It is by him that you exist in Christ Jesus, who for us was made wisdom from God and saving justice and holiness and redemption as scripture says, if anyone wants to boast, let him boast of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Now seeing the crowds, Jesus went on to the mountain and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and this is what he taught them. How blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the gentle, they shall have the earth as inheritance. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for uprightness. They shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be recognized as children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of uprightness. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. And blessed are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is how they persecuted the prophets before you. The Gospel of the Lord.